Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth and welcome to the next video of this Kotlin programming series. Now in this video, we will learn about what do we mean by the default functions in case of Kotlin. Now we will learn this concept along with the concept of interoperability. So make sure you have watched my previous videos. Then only this video will make sense. So first of all, what do we mean by the default arguments in case of functions? Now suppose I have this method name find volume that takes the parameter of length, breadth and height and simply returns the integer value of the volume of an object, right? Now if you notice here, here I have the third parameter as height equal to 10. Now this is actually the default argument in case of Kotlin. So here even if you don't pass the value of height equal to something, then also by default the height will have the value of 10, right? So let us take some example. So here from the main method, if I call find volume method and simply pass 2 and 3 as a parameter, that is length will become 2, breadth will become 3 and height which is by default 10, right? So this will simply return the result of let's say 60. So in the output, we will have 2 into 3 into 10 equal to 60, right? And now proceeding forward, suppose if I use this method find volume, 2, 3 and 20. Now if you notice here, we are also passing the third parameter. So here length will become 2, breadth will become 3 and in case of height, the value will be overridden and this 10 will now become 20. So in the output, we are going to get 2 into 3 into 20 equal to 120, right? So by passing some value here, we have simply overridden the default value that is present here 10, right? So here inside the IntelliJ IDE, this is the same application on top of which we were working in the previous videos as well. So here inside the Kotlin file, I will simply create a function. So here this find volume method simply returns the volume of a particular object. So inside the main method, I will simply use variable result equal to find volume and simply pass let's say 2, 3 as a parameter. Now at the end simply print the value of the result. And now here if you notice here we have to compulsorily pass the third parameter. Now what if you don't have the value of the height to pass in the third parameter here, right? So that is why we have the default functions in case of Kotlin. So here by default you can give, you can give this height some value let's say 10 and now here the error will be rectified and by passing just two parameters we can get the volume of the object right here just because we have the default value of height as 10 and then simply run the code by simply clicking on this icon of this one and simply and then simply run the code so here in the output we get 60 right and now here suppose if i pass let's say 30 now when we are passing the value of the height, then this value of the height will be overridden and this 10 will be replaced by 30 because the compiler will give more priority to this value. And now again, let us run the code. So here we get 180 in the output. So this is the advantage of using the default parameters in case of Kotlin. And now what about the Java file? Can we call the default function from our Java file? The answer is yes and no, both. Let's check it out. Now the Java doesn't support the default function. If you are a Java developer, then you must be aware of this. We did not have any concept of default functions in case of Java. So how can we call the default functions present inside the Kotlin file from the Java file? So for that, we have an annotation of at the rate JVM overloads. So this will simply give rise to the interoperability of the Java and the Kotlin files. So inside the IntelliJ IDE, suppose from the Java file, if I try to call the find volume method by simply using this class name, my custom Kotlin file name, my custom Kotlin file name dot find volume and simply pass, let's say four and let's say seven as a parameter. So it will simply show some error because the required argument is 3 and we are only passing the two arguments, right? Just because in Java, we don't have any concept of the default function. So what we can do here is 
inside myfirst.kt we can simply use the annotation right above the find volume method by using the annotation of at the rate jvm overloads right so this will simply make this function compatible with my java file now here the error has gone so now you can simply pass two parameters and simply get the result so i will simply use int result equal to this one and now down the side i will simply print out the value of result inside our java file and now to run the code you can simply click on here and then simply run my java file dot main so in the output we get the volume of the object as 280 by simply passing two parameters and of course you can pass three parameters as per your wish let's say 40 height is 40 breadth and length is 7 and 4 respectively and now again run the code by clicking on this icon here so here we get some other output of 1120 as a result so this was all about the default functions and in this video itself we also saw how can we call the default function from a particular java file by using the annotation of at the rate jvm overloads so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching this is shring siddharth signing off